Hi, my name is Taylor from RepairLabs.com. Everyone's really excited about the new Retina display in the iPad 4th generation. So today I'm going to be showing you a comparison between all the different generations of iPads underneath the microscope. We're going to show you the iPad 1st generation compared to the iPad 4th generation. First I want to show you what an actual pixel is. A pixel is a, is a row of three. So it's one, two, three. That equals one pixel. So over here on the iPad 4th generation, one, two, three. That equals it. And you can see here, it's about two pixels to every one pixel of the iPad first generation. Here is the iPad 2 and the iPad fourth generation retina display. Just like the iPad 1, it's pretty much the exact same. Pretty much it is the exact same. Um, it's about two pixels to one pixel. Um, two pixels being the iPad fourth generation one pixel being the iPad second generation. We have an image that was edited by our graphics designer showing you a better details of the pixel ratio. Here we have the iPad fourth generation again and this is the iPad third generation. Both iPads have the retina display in it You'll notice that their their screens are flip flops. So you can see the split in them, but those are the exact same screens in between the iPad third gen and the iPad fourth gen. Here we have the iPad Mini compared to the iPad two. There's a lot of worries going around that you're not going to be as satisfied with the iPad Mini LCD, you know, compared to the Retina display that Apple has. But shown here compared to the iPad two, it has a really good screen resolution. It's quite condensed, packed in there. Um, I would say it's about two thirds of the size of a regular iPad 2 pixel. Fourth generation with the retina display. Uh, this is the new iPad mini. The iPad mini has 163 pixels per inch. The iPad retina display has 264 pixels per inch. You can see quite a, big, a, quite a bit of a difference in between the two. And here is a still image that a graphics designer edited to show you a better pixel ratio again. Okay, that concludes our LCD comparison today of the iPad LCDs. For more information containing the LCD comparisons, please visit our blog at www.repairlabs.com. Please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube link.